Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here, welcome to episode 52 of my RotaryCraft tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Auto Breeder. Now, the Auto Breeder is actually a really simple, really easy to use, and incredibly, incredibly cheap machine. All it requires is five base panels arranged like a boat. And that will get you the Auto Breeder. Now this is the Auto Breeder right here. See? And it does require power in from the bottom, which is great because you're going to be putting this in the middle of like a, a field uh, anyway. So, you you know, the fewer things you can have above ground, the better. And the auto breeder does exactly what it sounds like. It automatically feeds animals when they're ready to breed, uh, keeping them breeding constantly as long as you give this thing power. So you don't have to be out there feeding your animals to get them to breed. You don't have to guess as to when they'll be ready again because as soon as they're ready to breed again, they'll come back over here. Um, if we take a look at, at the... Uh, uh, power requirements it does require 16,384 watts, which is the output of a steam engine. Um, and the range is determined by the amount of power. So if you give it more power, you'll get more range. By default, with this much power, you get eight. Uh, is your range, which is still you know quite nice, quite a sizable field with eight range. Um, and yeah, just give it more power to get more range. And I, I, I don't, I'm pretty, sh I don't know if the maximum range is uh, configurable. Um, a lot of things have been, but otherwise, just you know, give it more power for more range. I've got this coil set up to give us the 16,384 and now we'll take a look at what this thing does. So the auto breeder breeds animals and the way that you do it is you put in the food that the animal likes. So if I put some weed in here and I spawn some cows, they will be attracted to the auto breeder and they will breed. Fantastic. Now get out of here. I got stuff to do. Okay, and then we got the sheep. Now, if I come over here and place them, we can see that they can be attracted. That's what they do. With it, as long as the animals are within the range of the auto breeder, they will walk up to the auto breeder, eat and breed uh, when they're ready, and it will consume the food when they eat it. Now, as we know, not all animals like the same thing. Uh, sheep and cows like wheat, but pigs... These pigs are not interested in the auto breeder because it has weed in it. They want carrots. And now that there are carrots in it, they have bread. Get rid of the pigs here. Stupid pigs. And the same goes for uh, these chickens. If I spawn some chickens, they don't care about the carrots. They want seeds. And there we go. Now we have uh, a chicken. Get out of here seeds. Now if we pull those out and we throw some raw pork in there, we can even breed wolves. Now if I place these wolves, they don't actually do it. They'll come up to this thing and stand there, but they won't actually breed uh, because I have to tame them first. And once they're tamed, they will go about doing it. And there we go, a little baby wolf. So that's how it works. And then as soon as these animals, as long as they don't wander outside of the range, so you'll want to put them inside of a fenced-in area, or if you want to get really high-tech, a containment field. <laughs> and um, and once they're ready to breed again, they will come back, uh, they will eat, and they will breed. So it takes all, all the guesswork out of... Um, well, it takes any of the work out of breeding. Uh, you do have to, you probably want to watch it, because uh, you you will end up with some pretty large uh, um, herds, some pretty large uh, numbers of animals because they will just keep breeding uh, as long as there's food in here and as long as there's uh, power. So don't, you know, forget about it for ev for ages uh, or you'll come back to your field and there'll be like a hundred animals in there and it, it, too many, it, it'd be crazy. So don't let that happen to you. Um, keep, keep an eye on it. But there you go. Aww, you're so cute. <laughs> I love the sounds that they make, but um, I like the wolves. But that's it for the auto breeder. It's a very simple device. It does exactly what it says in the tin, and it's very easy and simple to use. So it's great. That's that's uh, our uh, tutorial for uh, today. Um, coming soon, of course, tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, I look forward to the next episode of the Let's Play series. I think it's getting good, building a house and stuff. Um, and then on Thursday, it's going to be Reactor Craft this week on Thursday. Some Reactor Craft. And then you'll look forward to next Tuesday when we'll have another um, reactor, uh, full-scale reactor video. Um, 
I'm uh, sorry if the video might have some static in it. It probably won't, because I'll be able to. If it does, I'll be able to filter it out. But my microphone is going bad. But I am getting a blue snowball pretty soon, so uh, that's going to be awesome. Look forward to improved audio quality, um, which is great. Uh, that's what I want to do: is improve the quality of the channel, not only with the audio, but I want to start um, upgrading the thumbnails to actual custom thumbnails pretty soon here. Um, that's going to take a lot of time, though, and I may have to take days off from making videos to do that. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for the videos coming up that I've mentioned. I'm Sutton LH, and I'm signing out.